the NSA is uh, suggesting, they've said this publicly, that uh, the phone call records of every American is relevant to a terrorism investigation. I just think that is so nonsensical. Um, when we put the word relevant into the act, we thought it was a limitation. NSA apparently looked at it as an expansion of their authority. We need to curb uh, that bulk collection authority. Most of this is metadata. I very much dislike the only metadata frame, metadata equals surveillance. Sort of an easy way to think about this, imagine you hired a private detective to eavesdrop on somebody. That detective would put a, room, put a bug in their room, bug in their car, a bug in their office, tap their phone, and you would get a report of the conversations. If you ask that same detective to put someone under surveillance, you'd get a different report. A report of where they went, who they spoke with, what they purchased, what they read, what they looked at. That's all metadata. That's all surveillance. Metadata equals surveillance at a very fundamental level. And this is the harm that I'm concerned about that we are building an insecure internet. The choice isn't, should the NSA spy or not? The choice is, does anybody get to spy or do we make a secure internet, right? Do we build an internet that is vulnerable to all attackers or an internet that is secure for all users? I spoke to the Internet Engineering Task Force last week. That's the group that basically designs and builds the internet protocols we all use. Uh, they are viewing this as the internet is under attack and it needs to be hardened, needs to be strengthened. Again, not against the NSA, against everybody. Right? As the representative said, there's a lot of good stuff the NSA does. We want them to do that and not spy on everybody. I think a secure internet is in everybody's best interest. That we need to secure the internet even if the other people don't. I mean, General Keith Alexander gets in front of Congress and says, if I had these capabilities, I would have stopped 9-11. He says that. And no one looks at him and says, you couldn't stop Boston. And one of the guys on the terrorist watch list, and the other guy had a sloppy Facebook trail. That should have been a gimme.